Hey there Aquarius, hope you guys' week has been good to you. Happy Halloween. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for your highest good. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aquarius, time out Aquarius. What are we talking about, please? Aquarius. Alright, we got some snooper snoopertons. Got some snoopy people here. I'm going to shuffle again. Two more. Got some controlling eyes watching you. One more. I'm not going to take that. There's something about a work environment. I'm going to stick that back in there. I don't want to clarify that. Let me get another one. Aquarius. All right. Got an investigation going on. Somebody's sorry. Got an anxious man here. And separation. Something about a separation. Somebody thinking that their separation was going to like have a big impact in your life. It doesn't. Somebody's stuck and powerless because everything that they tried to do isn't working on you. You're, you're very protected here. All right. Overall energy for Aquarius. Whoa. Okay. These cards are coming out fast here. Self-esteem. Somebody was banking on doing something with low self-esteem. You had to have low self-esteem to achieve something here, and this low self-esteem is no longer who you are. Somebody was only able to have control over you if you had low self-esteem. You've worked through this. You're healing yourself. And you're standing up for yourself as you should. You have pride for yourself. You're not letting people run over you or putting up healthy boundaries with people because you've dealt with some prideful people that don't want to take accountability. All about control and power is what you've dealt with. And you've got somebody here that wanted to like play in your face because you're very empathetic. Somebody's trying to come back around and say they see your side of something now, but this is somebody trying to pull on your empathy again. Trust yourself. Someone didn't want you to trust yourself. Somebody's trying to get you to trust them again. So we need to learn to trust our intuition and trust what feels right and what doesn't feel right for us. Because you definitely got somebody trying to come back around here. Somebody doesn't want to face judgment here. Somebody tried to like cast judgment upon you only for them to go under judgment here. This isn't good. There's some karma delivering out to people right now. And you had to be challenged to learn from something here. You've been through a lot of challenges, but this is what made you stand in your power, made you understand the, the strength that you have. So these people tried to challenge you only for you to come back stronger. You're not to be played with. You had people here that wanted you to be in a fearful mindset, doubting yourself, doubting your, your worth, wanted to shred your self-esteem down. You're not in a fearful energy like people wanted you to be. Somebody else is now because we got an anxious man over here. He's, he's not good. He's, he's feeling what he wanted you to feel. Aquarius. Everything is wonderful. So this is where you're at. Everything's wonderful for you. Not so much for these other people involved, especially this certain man here. But there's multiple people in this read. I can feel the energy. So you've got people here that are trying to make it seem like they've got everything together, like their lives are okay, but they're really not. They're falling apart. These people are under judgment. And you've got, a, you're an angel. You're, you've got a strong army of angels that protect you. People tried to throw darkness onto you, and this is where you found your light. You had to move through your own darkness to find your light. That's what your shadow work, your awakening's done for you. So you got people here that didn't understand or they just didn't want to believe or they doubted you but you're very much who you say you are so this is like being like a, a prophet a seer a, a chosen one an angel you're very protected people wanted to play in your face here something unexpected may happen there's some plot twists and turns here there's some people very much nervous about the outcome because there's people here that thought for sure that they had this outcome in the bag that they won but they didn't win nothing you're winning here there's some, some shifts and changes coming in for you at this time. People are very nervous. Aquarius. I embrace my artistic ability and creative talents. There are gifts I have to share with the world that only I can provide. And this is what they didn't want you to understand. They didn't want you to share your gifts. They wanted to shred your self-esteem down so you wouldn't step into this energy for yourself. Embracing who you are. Embracing these, these talents. These God-given talents that, were, that you were born with. This adversity was meant to keep you stuck so you couldn't harness this energy for yourself. And this is what you're learning now. You are the one that can only provide these certain talents and gifts with the world. That's why it's so important that you become the best version of yourself so you can step into your power and share your gifts with everybody. And we're staying in a joyful, high-vibing energy. I embrace joy. I choose to have a sunny disposition and a positive outlook regardless of the circumstances. So this is like changing everything up. Loving ourselves. 
no longer depending on others to tell us our, our worth and our value anymore. We're giving this back to ourselves and we're looking at life in a joyful, positive light. And we're fully stepping into our manifestation abilities. By staying focused on what I want, I manifest it. And this is what you're doing. You're manifesting some very beautiful things for yourself right now. And you had people wanting you to stay operating in low self-esteem so you can't manifest for yourself. Universe, give Aquarius a message, please. What do they need to hear today? Thank you. If you are, if you frequently give yourself permission to doodle, wander, and be totally unproductive, and you can actually relish such interludes, I can guarantee that your genius, creativity, and productivity will increase exponentially. So this is giving yourself time out. When you're hard at work, becoming the best version of yourself and achieving things for yourself, make sure you're giving yourself time to play. This is actually where we step into our creative energy even more, and we will figure out more things about ourselves. More ideals will pop into our head. You're Aquarius, so you've got that free-thinking mindset anyways. You guys are needed in this world. We need those free thinkers, those people that think outside the box. Your guys' mental strength is on point here. All right. You're going to be celebrating something very special soon. You'll be so full of joy and happiness. It will almost seem out of this world how suddenly it all happens for you. Be ready for it. Expect it. It's happening. I'm telling you, there's something important coming towards you. There's, I felt that. There's some kind of plot twist and turns. These are good things happening for you. There's manifestations of things that you're pulling in. You're, you're going to be celebrating here. Some of you guys are already celebrating. Make sure you're celebrating even if it's small wins. Celebrate that and we'll attract more towards us in that process. A chapter in your life is coming to an end. Rest assured that beautiful things are ahead in this next chapter. Let go of all things that are out of control and move forward. There are more beautiful things ahead than any you leave behind. And there is. So we've learned from the past. We're not going to stay stuck on the past. And now we're going to move forward in life. And this is what's happening for you. We've got some beautiful things wanting to line up for you at this time. Aquarius. My aura is magnetic to golden opportunities. Yes, it is. And this is what's being attracted towards you right now. So embrace this. Stay in this energy for yourself because it's beautiful. I could feel it. It's, I love it. We can stay in this energy all the time. I like it. So you're attracting some wonderful things. And you are not alone in this journey. This is understanding that I'm never truly alone. Those people that leave, leave me behind, abandon me, want to isolate me, want to make me feel weird like I'm an outcast, those aren't my people anyways. My right people, they're with me all the time. And this is your spirit team. You're never alone. You had to learn this throughout this process as well, that you are never truly alone. Aquarius. My gosh, you guys, these cards are coming out quickly. And so I listen as my soul told me to let the past go so that I may awaken to how much I have grown. And you have grown. Always look back and see the growth that you've done, but don't stay in the past. Keep it pushing, but make sure you're acknowledging everything that you've done already and how far you've come on your journey. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself that credit where credit's due. Releasing, rebirth, renewed. You're just renewed all over the board here. Beautiful. Just let me be. Standing in this liberated energy. Just let me be. I've been through some things. I overcame some things. I'm living my best life. Just let me be now. I'm ready to receive all my wonderful blessings, as you should. You've worked hard for it. You're ready to receive some things. You're a free spirit. You had to learn to stand fully in your authentic... And, did that, that didn't sound right. You had to, stay, you had to learn to stand still. Or just stand tall in your authenticity, no matter what people say about you. Stand tall in that. Own who you are. Be proud of who you are. You can let go now. Surrender to what is. Accepting of self. Accepting of people that you've already connected with. The people that have come up against you. The people that you need to learn from. The pain that you've, that you've endured. All part of you and all part of the plan for you to grow and just evolve as a beautiful soul that you are. This is no longer trying to hold on to things that are not for you, not trying to chase after things, not trying to reconnect with people that have hurt you, not trying to get people to see your worth and value. This is learning to give everything back to yourself and just letting go and just being in, it is what it is. Understanding and knowing that I've got some pretty beautiful things headed my way and I'm going to accept that because I am beautiful myself. All right. I'm not underestimating my own magic anymore. We're not downplaying who we are just because people want to water us down because they can't accept us at 100 proof. We're not going to do that anymore. Your power has been activated. You're attracting some really awesome new beginnings towards you. And this transformation is what's leading these, these things towards you. Beautiful. Stay in this high vibing energy. I feel it. It feels amazing. Stay in that. You're attracting some really awesome things right now. All right. Time out these snooper dupers. What are these snoopers doing? Got some people in their feelings here. Got some people here that are very like, 
trying to make it seem like they're not in their feelings, but they are when it comes to you. And you've got some people here very much aware that you're in this very reserved, like your emotions are very reserved, very balanced right now. Because you had some people here that were trying to like create some kind of emotional manipulation to get your emotions all over the place. That's not working. Some of you guys have a mask on here snooping around that has feelings for you as well. Tell me more. You've got a lot of past people here watching you. you got people here from the past watching you, very much aware that what they were trying to do isn't working on you. You had some past people here that were hoping that they were going to be able to achieve something by, ter by using your past against you, by keeping you in like a tore down, low self-esteem mindset is what they wanted. I keep getting for somebody here, there's a past life person, a past life lover that is keeping an eye on you as well. This one's got feelings for you. Everybody is very much aware that you're happy, you're chilling, you're living your best life. And everybody is very much aware that you already know what these people have been trying to go, do against you. The, the spotlight's been shined on them and they're nervous. Everybody is seeing all the hard work that you're doing. Everything is lining up for you. Everybody's seeing the hard work that they've that you've done on yourself. And everybody's seeing that the work that they try to do against you is not working on you. And we've got even family members here watching you. All very aware that you're lining up with your destiny. You're attracting a lot of good financial abundance your way. And you've got some family here that are very much aware that it didn't work. They couldn't stop you. And there is a significant connection that somebody is attracting towards them. And this person's watching you like this person's got feelings for you you got people here that are stuck thinking that they could have like kept you stuck these people didn't want you to shift your perspective on anything they wanted you to stay in low self-esteem and you're not now they're feeling stuck like wait a minute this didn't work out like we thought it was going to work out and they're all spying and aware i keep getting somebody's mask on here is just very much stuck watching you so you've got a lot of gossiping uh, haters here from the past that are very much aware that what they were saying about you has not, not affected you not one bit. All these people that were trying to like pull something to their side to like put you on a side where you were by yourself, this is where you gained your power. There's people here that thought that they was going to get some kind of payout over your head. It's not working. There's a very heartless feminine energy here that was saying a lot of lies on you as well. She's very cold and detached. She's got no empathy. And this is what this woman wanted to say about you. This is somebody here that's very bitter. There's another woman here involved. Jealousy, envy. There's a woman here that said that you use your body to get what you want. Could say that you sold your body, that you sleep with anybody. There was a lot of, a lot of lies being said about you. And everybody's realizing that they didn't work on you. And everybody's worried about this justice coming back around for them. You've got some energies here that are trying to figure out how to, to, to make something right with you again. But I wouldn't do this. These are people that are worried about karma coming in for them. And this is what's happening for these people. What goes around comes back around. There's balance that has to be made with this situation here. Tell me about this control energy. These are some very controlling, hot-headed people here. Tell me about this. There's, again, there's something about these people trying to control your emotional state here. Somebody didn't want you to receive love or anything. Because there's something about a love offer that's wanting to, to come towards you here. Because somebody's person that keeps watching them. I keep picking that up for someone here. There's like a lot of happiness coming your way. And people are trying to control your happiness. Just trying to throw a lot of like just negative energy on you to keep you stuck and stagnant. There's somebody trying to come back around and trying to reconcile here with emotional manipulation here. Don't let them do that. Somebody knows that they can't hold you back like they thought they was going to be able to. If somebody's been trying to do everything in their power to, to hold you back, clearly. If somebody knows that they, they, they can't hold something back for you, that's why they're trying to come in here with some kind of emotional manipulation. You got people here saying that you're breaking out of everything that they tried to stop you with. There's a completion here, and they can't stop you. You've healed, you've balanced, you've been patient with yourself, and you get to move forward. And you're the one that has the victory here, because these people are doing everything in their power to, to keep control over you. They can't control nothing. You're the one in control here.
Time out this investigation. <clears throat> so it's almost like there was some things said about you that made somebody want to investigate you. Someone could have said that you were conjuring up dark things and attacking them with it to, to get someone to investigate you as well. But here's the, the, the plot twist, the turns here. Whoever was actually lying on you and conjuring up things to attack you with, now they're being investigated. The truth always comes out here. Man, tell me more. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as a devil here. There was some really nasty things said about you to make somebody want to investigate you. But this investigation is like, it's turning on them now. Because the true devil is being exposed here. And everybody's breaking out in conflict now. Everybody's worried about being under investigation because they are. They wanted this for you, now they're getting it. And I'm telling you, there's, there was somebody investigating you and they walked away because they knew that it was based on lies. So the truth is coming out. And now they're on the hot seat. Man. Because this was a lot of deception and plotting and strategizing against you. And this investigator is very much aware. This, this, this person is holding back because they see the truth for what it is. They can't hold you back. There's some kind of like magician here that was like meant to come to like investigate you. Then they investigated you and they seen what the truth is. There's an illusion here. There was like a lot of confusion and this is being shown. Somebody knows that they should have never came for you. They should have never, they should have never like got themselves involved with this. But I'm telling you, this is turning on these people now. Now they're under investigation. Tell me about this person trying to say they're sorry. What is this? This is somebody that tried to create blockages for you. This is somebody that made the wrong choice. This is somebody that wants to try to figure out how to get you to choose them again. But this is somebody that didn't move correctly towards you. They were part of this, this, this plan to take you out. Tell me more. Keep your boundaries up with this person. That's what you're being called to do here. Because somebody's trying to figure out how to get you to lower your guard to let, some, let them back in. This is somebody that's very much aware that you are still on your path. You are still attracting everything towards you that you're wanting here. And somebody is aware of this. This is somebody trying to get a new beginning here with you. This could be a mother figure. This could be a child here. Trying to play on the motherly mother. Like trying to play on the mommy here. So we're going to see something for what it is. Because you are in this energy of just attracting. Like bringing everything towards you. Somebody is aware of this. Everybody involved is aware of this. Somebody wants to try to pull on your beautiful empathy. Don't let them do that. If you guys are on a twin flame journey, this could be somebody's twin flame trying to come back around as well that had a hand in this. That's for somebody. Somebody is just... They, they, they want you to feel bad. They want you to feel bad for what they did to you. Don't let them do that. This is somebody that's just heartbroken because everything is going in your favor. They wouldn't, be, they wouldn't be coming back and sorry if, if they got what they wanted out of this whole situation. They ain't getting nothing. Somebody's trying to get you to connect with them again. Because somebody wants to move the connection on to calmer times and you're moving on with your life. And they're trying to get in that boat and go with you. They're trying to get you to look at them differently. They feel stuck. And this is somebody that's definitely had some hand in gossiping on you, attacking you. This was somebody that was thought they were going to get some kind of payout by taking you out here as well. This is a breadcrumber. This is somebody who's one-sided. This is somebody that goes to the side that everybody else is siding with. This is somebody that had the choice to go to your side and stand next to you, but they went to the group where they, they fold under pressure type energy. Tell me about this man. Why is he nervous? This man's trying to figure out how to heal something here with you. And you've got a man nervous realizing that you've healed and moved away from them altogether here. And you've got somebody very much aware that you're an angel. You're protected, uh, anointed, a prophet, chosen even. There's a man very much aware of this now. There's a man here that's very much aware that you have the victory in this situation. There's something about this man that doesn't want exposure to him. He's nervous. He doesn't want to like, he doesn't want to own what he did. He's an emperor. This is somebody that's very controlling, very power hungry here. This is somebody that tried to stop you from going through your destiny. And this is somebody that's very much at a standstill right now, realizing that what they try, what he tried to do, it ain't working. And this man's worried about judgment. I can't make this up. This man's worried about judgment, about karma. 
worried about getting in trouble. This man was paid something and he's nervous and he's realizing you're about to receive something when it comes to your financial blessings. This man is in his head, sleepless nights, stressing, worrying, fear. He, he's stressing. This man knows that you're also still receiving a love offer too. There's something about love wanting to come your way. And somebody's aware that you're just not falling for anything either as well. You're not falling for emotional manipulation. This man was invested in taking you out and this man's worried about the investments that he had to commit to. He's stuck in something. He's nervous. This is a very selfish man. This man's very much aware that you're getting your wish fulfillments here. You're pouring into yourself. You're loving yourself. And this man is, this man's nervous. I can feel his heart racing. It's not good for this man. Oof, let me get out of that. All right, time out separation. Whew, time out separation. You get to move forward. You had some people here from your past that thought that the, the separating from you was going to like, Keep you, keep you in this low self-esteem. But you leveled up. You empowered yourself. You made peace with it. You're actually at peace. You're, you're doing better now, actually. And you get to move forward. Tell me more. So you, like, you get to move forward in this, like, Queen of Pentacles energy. Just self-sufficient. Money's looking good. You stay committed to yourself. And there's, for somebody here... This this person trying to come back around left you for somebody else. And now they're trying to figure out how to come back towards you because they had a hand in trying to take you out. And they're looking back and seeing like who they're with right now is falling apart. It's, it's karma. And they're trying to get back in your good graces here. No, thank you. Yep, somebody's trying to figure out how to get back into your good graces here. Because you've closed out a cycle and they're very much aware. Somebody does not want to worry about the judgment that's coming in for them. They're trying to get under your good graces to like protect them from karma. That's not going to work. Somebody was paid to separate from you, to put you on the back burner, to make you feel like you're not good enough, to make you feel like you're just worthless, wanted you to have like this trapped in your head, this falling apart. This isn't working out like these people thought it was going to. Like, And some of you guys had multiple people do this to you all at once. And none of this worked on you. I've got water, water, Leo, earth, earth, water, water, Leo again. Fire, Capricorn, fire, water, air, fire, fire, Libra, Taurus, air, Sagittarius, fire, Aries, fire, air, and earth here. All right, Aquarius. telling you you've got a bond here with somebody if somebody's past life person is is a is observing you right now they can't stop watching you this person's got strong feelings for you there's a bond here with somebody we have to give up things from our past to step into the new and this is what you're learning to do this is why sometimes when we aren't ready to let go of certain people they'll get removed when we ask to show the enemies they'll get shown to us and we've got to give them up to step into our new life all part of the process and plan here Learning to come into alignment with yourself is bringing everything that's meant for you in alignment for you. You got people here that thought you was going to be holding on to the past, staying stuck in the hurt and the pain that they caused you. You get to move forward because you're releasing this. And you've got some people here that wanted you to continue tolerating the neglect and the abuse that they were handing to you and just, just accept it. Be open and, and available to it, to it, whatever we want. We can come in and out of your life. We can continue neglecting you and abusing you. You're not letting that happen anymore. Good for you. There's something here about somebody saying with her legs spread open here. Somebody was trying to say that you open your legs for anything, that you sell your body or a prostitute. That's what the lies for somebody here was about. Tell me more. You're shaping your reality. You're bringing new connections towards you. That's why it's so important to leave these past connections where they belong in the past. We make room for new people, and this is what you're doing. There's a lot of jealousy cir circling this whole situation. Somebody's jealous that you're still getting what's rightfully yours here. That someone couldn't stop you. I wouldn't let somebody back in here because there's a lot of jealousy stemming around somebody. There's a lot of changes that have been taking place with these eclipse seasons. There's some kind of an interventions that have been taking place with you. That's that's wording is sticking out to me. Cosmic intervention. Something went in your favor after the, the eclipse during this year.
these been shifts and changes that have been making um, making room for you. There's been changes that are be made, being made available for you. And it's all about networking and getting back out there and just attracting the right people. This is what's happening for you right now. Somebody doesn't want you to realize what people have been doing, but you're already on to it. They didn't want you to dig deep within and figure out who, who you are, what, what's meant to be yours as well. They tried to stop this. Tell me more. You're honoring who you are. You're honoring the cycles you, you've been in. You're learning from it. You're closing it out and not looking back. That's what we're supposed to do. And what goes around comes back around with all these people involved. Now they're about to receive what they wanted for you. And all the drama that's breaking out. Because it's what they wanted for you. This whole situation's out of control. Everybody's going to start turning on each other. And this is what you're not missing with these past people. All these outside influences all got their, their um, mouth on you. Talking about you. Gossiping. They're, they're, they're miserable and they hate themselves. That's why they are the way they are. So these people thought that their opinions and what they were saying about you and forming more people to come up against you, they really thought that, that was going to break you. It didn't break you at all. And people are having sleepless nights over this shit. Excuse me. They're not, you're not at their, your breaking point like they expected. They're at their breaking points now. And you've been cleaning up your life, getting rid of distractions, making better choices. This is what you've been doing. And there's some greedy people involved here. This is what they cared about was money. Apparently money was more important than your life. Apparently, because they all thought they were going to get a payout by you being gone. These people are awful, man. And you've got a completion here. Yep, those are those cycles closing up for you. New worlds opening up and some beautiful rewards after dealing with these harsh lessons. Learn to ground your energy here. Because you could feel a lot of chaotic energy on you right now. So learn to like channel that, release it, and just learn to ground that beautiful energy of yours. You've got some keys that are have always been with you, but the doors weren't ready to unlock. Now they're getting ready to be unlocked for you. You've got access new, for new experiences because you're ready for them now. What was closed before is now opening. Obsessions, like people are obsessing over you. Addictions, poor habits, codependency wounds, abandonment wounds. These are the things that you've been clearing up and addressing and releasing and healing from. And the more that you do that, the more that these past people are obsessed with you. You've dealt with some narcissists here. Narcissists only care about themselves. They have images that they have to maintain. They care too much what people think about them. They step on other people. They don't want to see you get ahead, so they try to pull you backwards. Narcissists live in illusions, and when they can't control you, they'll get other people to, to like form a group to go up against you. That's what narcissists do. So F these narcissists. This is who they are. Angry, hateful, bitter, jealous, envious. And they want to pull you down in these low-vibing emotions with them. We're not going to let them do that. That's what stops us from manifesting. Fair is fair. There's definitely something being balanced out here for you. If there's a court case, it's going in your favor. Everything has to be restored, this balance here. And we're not reacting to the negativity because narcissists like to feed off negative, good or bad. They like to get us to react. That's called reactive abuses, abuse. And then they get, get us to look a certain way by getting us angry. We're not going to let narcissists do that to us. We're going to stay calm, cool, and collected. And because that's not working out like they thought it was, everybody is realizing maybe we shouldn't have done it. It wasn't the right time. But that's how narcissist mindset are. They can't admit defeat. So they'll tell themselves, we should have waited for a different time to have done this. None of these times where these people were going to try to come up against you was going to work against you. So these people's mindsets are like thick skulled mother effers is what I call them. Aquarius. They wanted you to be played. They wanted to continue playing you. They wanted to make you feel bad. Kick you while you're down type energy. All these people did was end up playing themselves for trying to play you. Got some people here that don't even hate anything about you. But they still went with the group to take you out. These are people that are weak minded. They have to form to the group. They can't stay to themselves. That's that whole what I felt earlier when the whole group. When the, someone had a chance to. To be on your side or go with the group. They chose to go with the group. And this person didn't even hate anything about you. So there you go. Wanted you to feel like trash. Wanted to treat you like trash. And a lot of these people said that you were trash. You live a trashy life. Let's just toss them away like a piece of trash. These people are awful. I wouldn't let any of these people near me again. Tell me more. Got some fake friends involved. People pretending to be your friends when they really weren't your friends. Somebody had a private relationship in the background and they didn't want you to see it. 
there's something here about somebody trying to come back around. They're still connected to somebody else. Don't trust them at all. Everybody only, only wants to come back, especially this person connected to someone else still. They only want to come back because stuff's about to explode. And it's not going in their favor. It's going in your favor. There's already some things happening in these people's lives already. Tell me more. I kind of felt. Tell me more. And there's something about a love story unfolding for you as well. So you get love. You get money. Whatever you want is yours. And people gossiped. Thinking that was going to break you down. They wanted to... to, to Jab your insecurities, your self-esteem is what the goal was. This isn't working on you. So now everybody else is going to be experiencing this gossiping energy for themselves. Because a lot of these people are insecure and broken themselves. That's why they are the way they are. You're not insecure. You've healed. These are some low, pathetic, bottom-of-the-barrel feeder type energies that tried to pull you down. People know that they effed up. Well, yeah, their lives are falling apart, and it's just getting going. There's more to come, boys and girls. Buckle up, buttercups. Bank failures. People losing money issues because they wanted to try to mess with yours. And you're over here claiming what's rightfully yours, as you should. And people were really thinking they were going to achieve taking you out, but they were going off of outdated versions of you that is no longer there. Somebody wanted you to be in your feelings, opening up sexually to them, and you're not. There's a copycat here that was involved trying to take you out. This copycat's being exposed. Copycats always expose themselves because they're inauthentic. That's why copycats got to convince everybody else you're the copycat. That's a projection of the copycat, okay? This copycat wanted you destroyed, wanted you messed up. This copycat's about to be experiencing this for themselves here because they wanted to destroy you. They're going to get destroyed now, and so it is. Aquarius. We've got a nervous woman here. Mm -hmm. You should be. Because of what you've done here. So what goes around comes back around. Absolutely. Somebody thought you'd be missing them. You're not. This is a feminine that had some kind of hand in here for somebody. Thinking you was going to be longing for them. Needing them. You're not. You're chilling. You're good. There's a man here that has some kind of power and authority. Thinking that they could use that. To their advantage to take you out. This isn't working. This is somebody part of your bloodline here. So somebody in your own bloodline. That has some kind of power and control here. Even wealth attached to them. They did everything they could to stop you. From stepping into your power. That comes from your ancestors. You've got some like very powerful an ancestors here. That have been wanting to work with you. They have been working with you. They've been really like. Making sure you get what's yours. You, you have some very powerful manifestation abilities here. And someone didn't want you to understand this. And this evil eye energy that they've been attacking you with. Conjuring up dark magic to attack you. It's not working. And you've got some past energies trying to circle around in all areas. Whoever that have left you behind or you've left behind. These are the energies trying to return. Leave them in the past where they belong. Look how happy and balanced you are. None of these people from your past... This this was never who you were when those past people were still in your life. Look at it that way. Look how happy and chilling you are now compared to where you were at when you were still dealing with these people. They brought you down. So we're not going to ent entertain these peoples anymore. These peoples. We're not going to entertain these people anymore. You're beautiful. You're so happy. You're balanced. You're just you're in you're ready to receive a lot of wonderful things. So it's very important to leave the past in the past. You've got a very angry woman here. This is like this copycat. This copycat's a hothead. This copycat wanted you to look like what the copycat is. The copycat will be exposed for her true nature because that's who she is. Or he is. This copycat wears a mask. A, a mask and wanted you to be looked at as you wear a mask. You don't wear a mask. You got okay. There's definitely somebody's mask on here that's watching. This mask one's like a rebel. This mask one is like likes everything about you. Okay, this masculine is very much aware of who you are to them as well. There's a masculine here that retreated away from you because this masculine is aware of the plots against you. If this masculine was once on the copycat side, the masculine is very much aware of who the actual copycat is, which is the copycat that's saying you're the copycat. So there was a target on you and none of these plans against you worked. 
And you've got all these people in the background lurking, very much aware that none of these plans against you worked. There's people here that are experiencing some weird things right now. There was a lot of astro traveling trying to come towards you. Make sure you're protecting your mirrors, um, writing um, protective sigils on your mirrors, cleanse your mirrors, protect those mirrors. That's where these dark people can astro travel is through our mirrors. And if you've got a mirror in your bedroom that faces your bed, cover it up. You don't want a mirror facing your bed while you are sleeping. Trust me. Somebody's worried about going to jail. Some people could have been trying to frame you to go to jail even. So guess what? These people are now going to be going to jail. Somebody is worried about going to jail. And some of you, it's your own children worried about going to jail here. This isn't good for these people. Aquarius. Okay, so there's some people here from your past that wanted to make it seem like they just weren't that interested in you. There's somebody trying to come back around that made it seem like they just weren't that interested in you. And they're still not. Don't let somebody back in. And this is all about to make you feel bad about yourself is what the whole goal was. It was all meant to tear your self-esteem down. And now there's, there's troubles happening for people. And they're very much aware why this is happening envious all this envy is making all these people fall down these are awful people man look at this that's all these people care about greed money money is more important than your life apparently you're not like this you're not greedy like these people you're totally different that's why you deserve stuff like this these wolf and sheep's clothing are all being exposed and they wanted to say that you're the wolf and sheep's clothing you are not someone's trying to come towards you with a friendly face Somebody wanted to make it seem like they wanted something more with you, but they don't. And they still could be trying to do this. Don't let somebody back. People really thought that this big fallout was going to, like, break you down. It's not. They're experiencing fallouts in other areas of their life for doing this to you. Everybody wants to ignore the elephant in the room, but they can't. The elephant keeps getting bigger and bigger and louder and louder. You're the hero. You had to learn to pick yourself up and save yourself because nobody was coming to save you. You're not letting somebody come in and, like... Put you up and make, like, put you up on this high pedestal, making you think that they've got your back, they're going to protect you, only for them to knock it out from underneath you, that pedestal. You're not letting that happen anymore. Beautiful. Somebody's attracting their hero towards them as well, because somebody's person is watching them. I keep getting that. You're on, that's that pedestal. Uh-huh. You put yourself up on a pedestal. You got people here that wanted to say that you're not who you say you are. There's no way. They've done this and they've done that. They're a bad person. They've made mistakes judgmental much why do you get to say who what of our life is and what we've why do you get to make judgment calls on the choices that we've made in our life these people probably have done worse things than you they want to throw their rocks and hide their hands type energy they wanted to drain you shatter you is what the goal was this isn't working out they're dealing with this now though they're about to be drained they're about to be shattered for trying to come up against you aquarius there's a couple here. This is like this copycat energy. There's a copycat here that is in a, in a relationship with somebody. And this copycat's trying to say that they're you. And somebody is still connected to somebody else trying to come back around. I keep getting that as well. Somebody's trying to do something on the inside here. That's why everybody that you thought was once near and dear to you, that, was thought, that you thought was loyal to you, they were never loyal to you. That's why they got removed from your path here. Be careful of anybody trying to come back around from the past, trying to do something on the inside still. So much jealousy circling around you. There's a female that's very jealous of you as well. Man. Hang on, I like the way that felt. Some of you guys are already perceived as not here. This copycat could already be claiming to be you and there's already a death certificate with your name on it when you're still here. People's lives are falling apart. They're experiencing some weird things. House issues, car issues, connection issues, money issues, sicknesses. Because that's what they wanted for you. People going into debt. There's people here that were having money issues that were promised a certain payout to take you out. And guess what? They're going to be more in debt now in the process here. Because they're getting dried out. They wanted to dry you out. Now they're getting dried out. I'm telling you, this devil energy. 
this devil's been trying to send a tax your way. And don't let this devil back in that's trying to apologize to you as well. This is a devil trying to come back around. Don't let the devil back in. Organized crimes. This was an organized crime against you. And you're of this world. But you're, not in the, you're in the world, but not of the world. Your energy's different. They can't come up against you. You're so protected here. They've been trying to assassinate you. And if that didn't work, they tried to assassinate your character. That didn't work. Trying to attack your home, send attacks to your home, watch you in your house, want to abuse you, want to neglect you. Somebody said you were the abuser and neglector. Nuh-uh. The abusers and neglectors actually projected what they've done onto you. They're the abusers. They're the neglector. Again, your, your energy's different. It's like alien. You're not like everybody. Your energy's different. You, you're powerful. You're protected. And everybody's aware of this. If somebody has some sick perversion plans with you as well. Somebody wanted to toy with you sexually. That didn't work. Something's very rocky now. Because the plans that they tried to, to commit to isn't working. So these none of these plans are working against you. I mean, and none of them are going to. All right. Aquarius. Drama. Fighting, arguments, all turning on each other. This is what they wanted for you. They thought that by arguing, fighting with you, that that was going to achieve something. It's not working. You're not fighting with these people. You're protecting yourself as you should. Now they're all turning on each other, and there's more drama to come. Somebody's about to end up in the mental ward. Somebody wanted you to go to the mental ward. They wanted you to feel like your sense of reality was not who you are, like you're losing your mind. She's crazy. He's crazy. Well, guess what? Someone else is going to be dealing with this now. Tell me more. Ooh, judgment coming in. I'm telling you. Judgment is raining down on all of these people because they wanted to pass judgment on you. You faced your demons. You make people see their own demons. Some will run from their own demons because they don't know how to change and they don't want to take accountability. That's what narcissists do. You hold mirrors up to people. Somebody can't run from their problems anymore pertaining you. They can't. Somebody has definitely been sending attacks to your house. Make sure you're cleansing your energy. Putting up... Um, Crystal grids, if somebody's into crystal grids for me to bring that up. But protect, put black salt in your window seals, draw runes on your doormats. Um, just really do whatever you feel that's best for you. Cleanse your house, protect your house. Tell me more. Blasphemy. Someone say you're blasphemy. You're not who you say you are. Well, make that make sense. Then why is your life protected and everything that is... Is like that you're wanting to receive is it's still on its way to you. You're you're on the come up while these other people lives are going downhill. So make that make sense. If you were evil like these people said you were, you would be done. You would be gone. That's why these people's lives are falling apart. You got a bunch of churchy people wanting to cast judgment onto you. And they for sure thought that they were gonna be able to take action and, and make something work. It's not working. You're the one protected, not these people. Or something about your energy that's very powerful. You could notice electronics like freezing up. Like you just you could just notice things like just your powerful energy is affected by everything. Let's just say it like that. You've had people here that were also trying to mess with your electronics to make you feel like you're going crazy. You're not going crazy. These people wanted you to go on a path to nowhere, and you're exactly where you need to be. These people are now on a path to nowhere because they were trying to attack you and you've got something you need to achieve. They can't get in your way. This is what you're going towards, your luck, your prosperity, things turning around in your favor. And everybody's aware that everything is going in your favor. So again, if you were evil, like these people said, why is everything working out for you still? Make that make sense. Aquarius. Somebody wanted to bring up some old habits of yours to try to cast judgment on you. There's people here that got some habits of, them, of their own, but they don't want to talk about that. You even got churchy people that are on drugs, but they don't want to talk about that, though. No, they don't. You got people hoping that you were going to go backwards on, on old habits here. That didn't work. You got people here that wanted to say that you're always partying. You don't take life seriously. Well, that's not the truth either. The people that said that you're always partying, that's what they're doing. Because they're still partying while you're on the come up. So make it make sense, boys and girls. Tell me more. And everybody's creeping and very much aware that they couldn't stop you. All the plans against you. They can't stop you. They're so threatened by your resilience and your toughness to keep it pushing. They're going broke. They wanted you to be broke. Now they're going broke. 
there's a man here that has some kind of power and authority that did everything in their power to like keep you stuck. There's some karmic friends here involved. There's some karmic friends here having car issues, car wrecks. It's not good for these people. These people wanted you to fall apart, wanted to lose things. Now they're losing out. Man. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as an obsessive karmic. Dangerous, toxic, unhealthy. This isn't who you are. These are the people that you had to connect with in the past here that tried to come up against you. You've dealt with these type of energies, but you needed to go through these type of energies so you could be equipped to battle them and use discernment so we don't fall for other karmic energies in the future here. This is what you're doing. You're focused on your bag. You're hustling. You're so unbothered. You're so in tune with yourself, and you look good doing it. And when you have people trying to dig up your past to try to harm you, shame you, don't let anybody shame you from your past. People trying to leave hate comments in your in your videos or wherever you're posting. Don't listen to that bull crap either. There's somebody that's holding on to some kind of wealth that belongs to you for somebody here. And this is this copycat that's in a, a marriage. And she's claiming to be you or he's claiming to be you. And there's somebody here that's in a, in a union with somebody, connected to somebody, and they're only together for the money. And this is somebody trying to come towards you with some kind of, like, a fair offer. Don't, don't fall for that. Somebody wants to make you look like, like a home wrecker. Don't fall for that. Somebody's trying to force their views of you onto others. That didn't work. And somebody's just trying to force you to stay down. That's not working. Everybody's been moving in silence, trying to, to get in the way of an offer of yours. That didn't work. And they thought by talking crap against you that that was going to be able to achieve something. That didn't work. Hang on, I said to move another one. And there was a bunch of lies said about you to make somebody want to attack you with um, black magic as well. That's why people's lives are falling apart because you were an innocent bystander during this whole thing. That's why their lives are falling apart. I mean, make it make sense, boys and girls. Use your freaking heads a little bit, okay? Use your heads. Sorry, Aquarius. Aquarius. They wanted to distract you from your intuition. Don't let anybody distract you from your intuition. This is why it's so important to stay connected with yourself because you've got some powerful um, gifts here that you were born with. You need to trust yourself. These people that removed themselves from you was for you to develop your skills. Now we got to learn to trust our intuition and not let anybody try to come back in and distract us again. Karma coming in for these people. Mm -hmm. Your good karma is coming in while these other people's karma is getting dished out to them. It's very important to leave past people in the past. We don't want to attach ourselves to their karma for what they've done against us. What they put out is what they're getting back, which is bad karma. The good energy that you put out is coming back to you, which is good. Tell me more. These people thought that everybody being influenced to look at you in a certain way, everybody coming up against you with the same plan of the gossip and the same storyline, like that I was going to work. It didn't work. You're not rejected like they wanted you to be rejected. Oh, well, poor little tink tinks. This is what you're doing, building a solid foundation, creating that security for yourself. And you had people here preying on your downfall. These are shallow, empty, bored, pathetic, miserable people. That's why they are the way they are. And they've been thinking. And they know that what they've done isn't working. They're trying to think of a way to come toward you. They know that it isn't going to work. They're stressed. They see you closing out the cycle and moving forward, as you should. They expected you to chase them. We're not chasing anybody. They wanted you to be in despair, falling apart without them, feeling abandoned, feeling left out. This isn't happening. This is what you've done. You've put some boundaries up. Good. You're still being called to put boundaries up even with these family members because they were part of this. They thought you'd be longing for them, and you're not. You're very much in your power, and you're very much attracting a lot of beautiful things towards you right now. Very important to leave these past people in the past because they mean you no well at all. So... All right, my beautiful Aquarius, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Sunday.